let's preview one of the key matches in the Prem. It has to be West Ham taking on Manchester City today, Tony. Tony, you're, you, don't, you don't hang about, do you? You don't like to entertain the thought that Manchester City can slip up against West Ham today. Well, I just think it's very unlikely. I mean, they're an incredibly gifted side that I said, I don't know, three weeks ago, they might win every... I said, might, I said, I think they'll win every game. And so far, they have. I said, it wasn't a case of slip-ups. It was more of a case is I couldn't really have a... I couldn't find an argument to say, well, these are going to beat them. Well, West Ham are 12 games winless against City, so that might be something that, you know, encourages your thoughts on that. Well, anyway. West Ham would be about my best hope of thinking that they, they could get the better of City, but City, now they're at the Champions League, Shaban, really, they are going to just take... They, the problem you have with City is that they come to your stadium, play their way, if like it's a home game. Mm. So you're always out of possession, you're always chasing, and you're having to defend even at the London Stadium today. That's what it'll be like for West Ham. And West Ham are a really good team. You know, the, the improvement in them over the last 18 months has been extraordinary. You know, they're a side that are very capable, as they showed in the Europa League, as we saw in the Premier League, getting very close to the top four. They're a really decent side. But I still think City, and likewise Liverpool, are another cut above yeah. in the Premier League week in, week out. Yeah, I mean, you can make that same argument, I suppose, like you say, City being out of the Champions League, West Ham getting knocked out of the Europa League, League as well, mm. and after coming so far, do they end their season with a with a bang? Like, what? what it would be great to get a point from well, this I, today. Uh, you know, you're talking about the manager involved. The manager involved is David Moyes is a particular... Uh, he was a no-nonsense footballer that never shirked anything, and I played against David when I was in Scotland. And... He is not going to be having his team go out today and just be that old phrase of on the beach. And they will not be doing that under David Moyes at all. Mm. So that's the one thing I take great pride in is that his team will represent him as a person. They will not reset, represent something that's very different from what we've seen all season. And somebody else who will be representing today for West Ham is Mark Noble. It's his last ever home gay, game sorry, in a professional football uh, game before the end of the season. Of course, um, the West Ham captain has been at his club his entire professional career. Yep. Over 550 appearances for the Hammers. So he's going to get a great send-off today. Uh, speaking ahead of the game, West Ham manager David Moyes was asked what kind of legacy he leaves at the club. Well, I think he's left it with his playing career and his, his loyalty. I think he's left so many things. You know, he's played for one club, never moved, uh, played continuously at, at the highest level wherever West Ham have been. So I think from that point of view, he'll be he'll be renowned. But I think he'll be really missed at the club. You know, he's very good around the young players here. He sets some great examples. Even now, he's setting great examples to to how they should behave and and how they how they sort of go about their, their business is trying to be young professionals and he's also helping train up some of our players as well in, in becoming good leaders and, and good players around the club. West Ham manager David Moyes there praising Mark Noble on his last professional game um, for West Ham. How, how does that make you feel knowing that this is coming to an end for Mark Noble and what do you think? about the legacies left? Well, he, David Moyes has said it all there. He's an incredible oh, yeah. ser- servant to the football club. A number of years back, Teddy Sheringham had said to me that Fergie was interested in Mark Noble and Teddy spoke very, has always spoke very highly of Mark Noble as a player and as a person. And uh, apparently there was a really strong interest that he could have gone to Man United when he was in his early 20s. Right. Never happened. He's never rocked a boat. He's never, ever, you know, thrown his toys out the pram. He's not in the team. He's always leading his team. He's been a great captain for the club and he's done that from the sidelines and he's done it on the pitch. And David Moyes has said everything about him. They're, they're, these type of players are very rare that they'll do so much for a football club. It's an honour for West Ham fans to have a captain like Martin Noble. He's been brilliant for them. And the, the team, and I sometimes feel, does it have a knock-on effect of why Declan Rice is the same sort of mindset? Yeah. You know, he's not rocked a boat. He's, all the transfer speculation around him, Declan Rice hasn't rocked a boat. His captain was the same type. So I, I do think it's a fantastic achievement to stay at one club now because it's nearly impossible to do that. Do, do you have a player in your career who you looked up to, the way Declan Rice would maybe be mentored by the likes of Mark Noble? Yeah, I had many a player that, you know, but most of them moved on. It, it's so rare, even going back 20, 30 years, that players stay at a certain club. That's just rare. 
Um, you know, we we could obviously go to the the obvious one, Matt Letizia at Southampton. But if you go club by club, there's very few players that stay all their career in one because managers change regularly. They have different ideas of different choices of type of players they want. Mark Noble has been there from the start to the end. He's been there from a kid. And he's gone through the whole lot. That is really rare. Yeah. It's extremely rare in football. It is rare. In fact, I was talking about this with my husband the other night, um, James Forrest for, for Celtic. You know, 20 yes. years he's been at that club. He still has the face of a 15-year-old. Yeah. Uh, and he's 30 now. And to win another title, that's 10. Yeah. You know, that he's done. He's become a bit of a sub, hasn't he, in recent he times? Has, and yet he's been brilliant for them at and, times. And he has been featuring throughout yeah. the season uh, under Ange Postecoglou. And it's, and it's brilliant to see him there. Will he likely finish up his career at Celtic? It does look like that could be the case well you n- you never know but one thing is we know about mark noble is that he's got to 35 from a teenager all them years at one club yes In- to- fair play to you